grade 8 lesson 2 is about factoring using the common monomial factor. Factoring is the reverse form of the distributive rules. We study the given 15a squared b c cubed minus 20a cubed b squared c squared. I factor natin siya gamit yung greatest common factor. So nung elementary, yung ginagawa natin sa GCF, kinukuha natin yung number, let's say 15 and 20. Then, hinahanap natin yung mga prime factors niya. Sa 15, ang factors natin ay 3 times 5. Sa 20 naman, ang prime factors natin dyan ay 5 times 2 times 2. Then, kinukuha natin yung common factors na prime number nila. So, in this case, ang common natin ay 5. So, ito na ngayon yung common factor ng given numbers na yan. So, i-apply natin siya dito. So, since nagkuha natin na ang common factor ni 15 and 20 ay 5, so, kuhin natin si 5. Yan. Sa variable naman, kukuhin natin yung letter na may lowest exponent. Compare natin sa first term and second term. Sa a muna tayo. Sa first term, a squared. Sa second term, a cubed. Mas maliit si square. So, kukuhin natin si a squared. Next, compare natin yung coefficient natin na b. Uh, variable natin na b. We have b and b squared. Mas maliit si b. So, kukuhin natin siya. Sa C, compare natin C cubed and C squared. Compare natin C, C squared. Times, i-divide natin ngayon to get the second factor. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. A squared divided by A squared, that is 1. So, wala na tayong A. Next, B divided by B, that is 1 din. So, wala na yung B. Next, C cubed divided by C squared. That is C raised to 1. Or simply, C na lang. Minus, 20 divided by 5. 4. Next, A cubed divided by A squared. That is A. B squared divided by B. That is B. And last, C squared divided by C squared. That is 1. So, ito na ngayon yung factor form natin. 5A squared B C squared quantity 3C minus 4AB. So, ganun lang yung common factor. The greatest common factor. Now, try natin yung some exercises. Number 1. 8a squared minus 4a. Meron tayong coefficient na 8 and 4. So, anong common factor nila? A greatest common factor. So, that is 4. Ayan. Next, kuhin natin yung variable natin. Meron tayong a. Ang may lowest exponent ay si a. So, kuhin natin siya. Okay, nakuha natin yung common factor. Now, parenthesis, magdi-divide tayo. 8a squared divided by 4a. So, 8 divided by 4, that is 2. a squared divided by a, that is 8. Copy the minus sign. 4a divided by 4a. 1. So, ito na ngayon yung ating factored form. So, pwede natin siyang i-check. Distribute natin. 4a times 2a, 8a squared. 4a times negative 1, negative 4a. So, tama. Proceed tayo sa number 2. 
x squared y minus 14xy squared plus 49x squared y squared. So, mga coefficient natin ay 7, 14, 49. Ano yung common factor nila? 7. So, 7. Nakuha natin yung sa coefficient. Proceed tayo sa variable. Sa x, ang lowest na exponent natin ay 1. So, kuha natin yung so, x lang. Sa y, ang lowest din natin is y. Raised to 1 or simply y. So, yan na yung ating common factor. Times, divide natin ngayon. 7x squared divided, 7x uh, squared y divided by 7xy. 7 divided by 7, that is 1. x squared divided by x. x na lang yan. Sa so y naman, y divided by y. Wala na yun, or simply 1. Minus 14 divided by 7. That is 2. Next, x divided by x. Wala na yun. y squared divided by y. Third term tayo, plus 49 divided by 7, 7, x squared divided by x, x, then y squared divided by y, that is 1. So, pwede ulit natin i-check by simply distribute the common factor. So, multiply. Last tayo, number 3. Three x quantity a plus b minus four y quantity a plus b. Pasin na meron tayong common factor, which is a plus b. So madali na lang siya. So copy the common factor, which is a plus b. A plus b times combine natin yung mga nasa labas. Three x Minus 4y. So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. So, mag-aattach ako ng problems sa end ng video. Then, i-check ninyo kung 